Welcome back, everyone. I have a very exciting book to share with you today. We're going to meet Finn. Finn is a lemon shark who's looking for somebody to play with. And what makes this book extra special is the author is from right here in Connecticut. Jenna Grzydzki used to be a teacher in Avon in Southington, and now she is a full-time writer. I checked out her website. Looks like she's a big fan of animals because she has a lot of stories where animals are the central characters. So let's read Mrs. Grzydzki's book, Finn Finds a Friend. Life was boring at the bottom of the ocean. Boring, boring, boring. Finn wiggled and waggled back and forth, trying to convince his brothers and sisters to play with him. Like most lemon sharks, his brother and sister pups spent their days laying completely still on the ocean floor, their flat heads and broad snouts camouflaging them in the sand. Not Finn. He blew bubbles, he swam upside down, he counted barnacles, but it was no fun playing by himself. One early morning, Finn went in search of a friend. He hadn't swum very far when he came across a creature wearing a shell. He swam up to the animal. I'm Finn. Would you like to play with me? The turtle darted into a nearby rock cave. Hide and seek, said Finn. I love that game. Finn swam through the weeds. He nosed behind boulders. He wriggled into the rock cave until finally, I found you. You can come out now. No way. I don't want to be shark food, called the turtle. But I'm not here to eat you. I just want to play. The turtle peeked out. Not taking any chances, he said before disappearing into the cave again. Disappointed, Finn swam on. He came across some strange animals, swimming and splashing. They didn't have tails or fins like his, but they were making friendly sounds. Pasting on his brightest smile, he sped toward those creatures. As he got closer, a scream pierced the air and he heard cries of, shark! They're happy to see me, Finn thought. The closer Finn got, the faster they swam away. This is awesome, said Finn. They want to play tag. Soon, a loud whirring noise filled the air and waves rocked Finn back and forth. Where did they go? Didn't they understand that I just wanted to play tag? I'm not giving up, vowed Finn. But finding a friend who could see past his sharky appearance was harder than he thought. His smile drooped. His fin sagged. Finn continued swimming until two creatures diving in and out of the water caught his attention. One more chance, Finn thought. Hi, I'm Finn. Would you like to be my friend? You're a shark, the larger one replied. We can't be friends with you. Echo, let's go. Finn turned around, ready to glide home. He hadn't gotten very far when he heard a cry from behind. Luna, help me. Echo's tail was tangled in seaweed. Finn had an idea. I can help. He swam up to Echo, teeth bared. He's going to eat me, she shrieked. Wow, you weren't going to eat me. You were trying to help. Thank you for saving my sister. You're welcome. I was looking for someone to play with, not eat. We know that now. I'm Luna. This is my sister Echo. It's nice to meet you. Would you like to play? Sure. What do lemon sharks like to do? Finn smiled. Probably the same things that you like to do. OK, let's have a race, Luna suggested. Last one of the sea anemone is a rotten egg, cried Echo. Finn hurried after his new pals, his heart flipping. He had a whole list of games they could play next. Now, Finn's story is fiction, but lemon sharks are real. They may look scary, but they're not considered dangerous to people. They mostly eat bony fish, mollusks, and crustaceans. Dolphins are not on their menu. And no, lemon sharks do not eat lemons. Again, a great reminder that we can't make judgments about people based on what they look like. That's just a great story. And to find out more about Finn and this local author, ask an adult to go to NBCConnecticut.com and search Kids Connection. You're also going to find a link to coloring pages of Finn you can download there.